Knowles All Access is brought to you by the energy saving conservation programs of Tico People's Gas. Real Coca Cola taste with zero sugar and zero calories. Coca Cola Zero Sugar. Taste the feeling. Welcome to Knowles All Access, where we take you inside Florida State Athletics. I'm Jay Sutton, and today we'll talk with interim head coach Odell Hagens about the win over Alabama State. Then we'll go inside the helmet with defensive end Joshua Kanda. And later, senior Griffin Alanese shows how talent and perseverance landed him a spot on the Florida State swim team. All that and much more is up ahead on Knowles All Access. Fake throw downfield. Deep ball toward Tamir and Terry. He'll make the catch at the 30. 20, 15, 10. That's a touchdown up there, you. 70 yard touchdown, rainbow. Throw to Tamari and Scary Terry. Well, on third down and 10, Blackman converts. Here's a quick snap of the ball. Though the pass to the rolling with the ball is Blackman. He may run. He's back to the left. Made a guy miss at the 40 to the 35. He's to the 30 yard line. Still running inside the 20, and he's dropped to the 15. That's the best run we've seen James Blackman make this year, maybe in his career. Snap out of the shotgun, running the ball. Jay has a direct snap to Labor. He has a touchdown. Florida State. Well, we saw it with Cam Akers. Didn't know if we'd see it with Kalen Labor, but by golly, the direct snap out of the Wildcat, and Labor scores a rushing touchdown. Ishad Davis was the guy that got stiff off, dropping to throw the deep ball down the far sideline. It's a caught ball inside the 15, to the 5, to the 3, to the 2, to the 1. It's touchdown FSU, Treshawn Harrison. Defense is playing us a lot of man-to-man, -man, and now the state's over the top. Here's a run by James Blackman, daylight outside the numbers, 20, 15, 10, to the 5, he's to the 3-yard line. But James Blackman shows some quickness that time. Here is the snap, handoff to Labor and finds the promised land. It's a touchdown FSU. That is the way you explode into the end zone right there. That's how you explode through the line of scrimmage. Here's the snap, and Davis flushed to his right, still rolling to his right. Cox the arm, fires the ball downfield. It's intercepted, picked off of the 20-yard line. Florida State with a takeaway by Hampson Nazaraldine. Nazaraldine still running with the football. He's across the 40 to the 50. Hampson Nazaraldine with one guy to beat. Down the line, outside the numbers, 20 to the 15 to the 10. 5, 3, 2, 1, touchdown FSU. Hampson Nazaraldine. Interception of pick six. That's an 80-yard return, maybe more. And oh, by the way, the guy that's got 10 tackles have been all over the field. How does he have any gas with the tank? <laughs> one receiver to the right, one to the left. Shotgun formation. Here's the snap. Blackman looking right, looking throws a pass. End zone caught. Ball. Touchdown FSU. Crossing route. DJ Matthews in the end zone. And the Knowles get six on third down and goal from the 12. Jet Evans at quarterback. I told you for Portland, Oregon. Dropping back with the left side, throws a deep ball. It's intercepted this time. There will be no flag. Picked off by Stanford Samuels. Samuels to the 20, to the 25, to the 30. Samuels gets a block to the 40. Samuels to midfield. He's knocked out of the 47-yard line. Takes it, hands the ball off. But oh, he pass over the middle. Caught ball, Neighbors in the 50. 45, 40, 35, 30. Neighbors in the 20. I beg your pardon. It's Neighbors to the 5. He's tapped and tackled from behind to the 2-yard line. Longest pass play of his career by Gabe Neighbors and the longest throw of his career by Jordan Travis. You got Deontay Sheffield. He's not scored a touchdown. Here's the snap. Inside handoff. Sheffield powers his way across the goal line. Is he in? Give it to him. Is well. he in? Give it to him, Mr. Ref. There it it's is. a touchdown, FSU. Deontay Sheffield. And that will be the ball game. Final <laughs> score. 49 to 12. FSU expected to beat and does beat Alabama State. You know what y'all did? Y'all fought last week. You fought this week. And I appreciate that. And the coaching staff, I appreciate that. You guys could have gave in. But you did give in. It's only one way. No way. It's only one way. No way. And that's the way we must do things around right here. Coach, congratulations on the win. How cool was it to send those seniors off with a win and a convincing win at that? 
Oh, it was great, man. And the seniors, man, I was saying it all week. I kept repeating it. We want to see, send the senior off in the good hands, man. Let them know that last year here we made a bowl game. And, and they was all excited and stuff. It, it was awesome for this team. It was great for this football team. And you've had a lot of experience with these seniors. What can you tell us about what they've meant to this program during their time here? Well, you know, I talk about one of them, uh, Levante Taylor. Came here, one of the top recruits in America, and the kids stuck in here with us. And, and then also this year, you, you know, Levante had some trying time. He got hurt, but he came back and played. And, and that, that kid means a lot. He loves Florida State, and we love him. And let's talk about the action on the field, because at one point during the game, I had to check my eyes because I couldn't tell if it was James Blackman or Cam Newton. So can you talk about him and the big plays that he made with his legs? <laughs> yeah, James just come up, Coach, I can run the ball. I can run the ball. Y'all try me. Believe me. I said, James, we know it. He just wants you to go play within the offense. You know, he's always joking about it. But he made some plays yesterday, and that was great. And James took what they gave him, and we felt great, great about that. And, and I, I keep telling him to keep doing that, taking what they give you. And what about Hamza? He's been a force for this defense all season long. Yesterday, he had that big pick six. Can you talk about that? I'll tell you what, Hamza works hard every day. He practices hard every day. And Hamza practices like that. When you, you play the way you practice. If you practice great, you'll play great. If you practice average, you'll play average. He practices great. And he's gonna, he, he, he will make plays like that. Awesome pick by Hamza. Well, they are going back to a bowl game, but we do have another game against Florida, and we'll talk about that a little later in the show. So okay. stick around for that and much more coming up on Nose All Access. My name is Joshua Kando. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm a junior, and I'm a defensive end. I've been playing football since second grade. Uh, my first year ever playing, uh, we were undefeated that year. I played in uh, M&T Bank Stadium, Baltimore, downtown, and that was pretty cool. I took one visit here, my official visit. Uh, that's when I feel like I could excel here academically, of course, and then just watching the ends, the body types of the ends, of how they were playing, how they were being coached by Coach Lawn and stuff like that. I felt I wanted to be a part of that, and I felt like that would be a great fit for me. It is third down, 15. Blitz threatened, uncoming. Newman dropping, has time. Under pressure, under pressure. Spins off a tackle in the backfield, will lose a sack. He's going to be hit and dropped right at the line of scrimmage. That'll be a sack by Joshua Kingdom. Want to work with medicine, want to help people. That's my biggest thing, you know. Since I was ooh, probably like second grade, too, I took a trip to Towson University, and ever since then, it's just been in my mind. I'm not completely sure yet. I don't want to be a DO over an MD, uh, but thinking uh, orthopedics, geneticists, hospice care, palliative care, maybe a family physician. <laughs> it's been tough. It's been tough as ever. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But taking that challenge, finding that balance, uh, we injured my uh, brain capacity, trying to increase that and stuff. It's a challenge, it's tough, but I feel like here, there's so much to, this school, each university has so much to offer, so why not take advantage of it, you know what I'm saying? One game stood between the Seminoles and their chance at a national championship, and that was in Gainesville against third-ranked Florida. The Gators were a great team at home, only losing three times in 60 home games under Steve Spurrier. But with Bobby Bowden at the helm, Florida State had a clear path to a national title. Second down seven, here comes pressure. Winky flushed out of the pocket, running right, throws it across the body. It is caught ball! Ricochet! Ronnie Dugans has it, first down FSU at the Gator 44. Shotgun quarterback now, third down and three. Warwick's gonna run to his left. Warwick to the 35, Warwick to the 30. Warwick's got a first down to the 29. Zigzag and Peter Warwick with number nine proudly on his jersey and he gets eight yards. Warwick at quarterback, here's the snap. Warwick runs left, he will run to his right, comes back the other way. Warwick to the three, two, one, touchdown! FSU! What do you see, PT? I see you, Peter Ward! Wow! I see you, Mr. Heisman! Holy Toledo! He ran left! 
nothing there. He came back the other way, just like Bobby Bowden growing up. I tell you what, Gene, there is no better football player in college football than that man, number nine, Peter Warwick. Nobody else in America could make that play, and he made it against a great defense. Five. Ten Gators move left. They trail 7 nothing. Play action dropping is Doug Johnson gets a pass away. Pick ball! It's, it's an intercepted ball. Bradley Jennings. We've got it at the Gator 48-yard line. And who's standing over Doug Johnson with the pressure? Brian Allen all over Doug Johnson. Forced that bad throw. I don't know where he was throwing. He threw it right to Bradley Jennings. Lincoln. Eric Thomas, the center. Here's the snap. Four-man rush. There's a pass away. Caught at the 50. we got a first down to Robert Morgan inside the Gator 35. Morgan refusing to go down. First down to FSU, and Chris Winkie is hotter than a match. <laughs> his career-long school record, 56. Wind in his face. High snap. Here's the kick. Janikowski's got plenty of leg. Plenty of leg. It's what good! Wind to the back of the Gator putter. We go up the middle. Yes! Yeah! Blocked! Block. Block, Tommy, big yes. play, Polly. We've got it in the Gator 22. Yeah. From the one. There's toss pitch to the right side. Chaney running right. Flag oh, no. zone. Oh, we got the TD. I see we you, Jim Chain. We punched it in. Dunson will drop back to throw. Looking downfield, looking to his right, looking to his right. Throws. And it's picked up. Intercepted at the one yard line. Florida State. Chris Hope. Winky in the shotgun. Chaney flanks him. Here's the snap. Pressure coming. Gets the pass away. Fire right side. Out of the line. Caught by Warwick in space of the 40. Warwick to the 30. Here's the snap to Winky. Outside pressure contained. Gets the pass away. Far side. Near side line. Caught. Snoop Menace. Touchdown. Touchdown, Florida State. Snoop Menace. You did it, son. The Gators fought back with a touchdown late in the game but failed on a Hail Mary pass as the last seconds ticked away. Toward the end zone, Big Ben alley-oop, knocked away, knocked away, yes. incomplete! Santa yes. Rose beat the Gators! Yes. We beat the Gators! We're gonna play for the championship in New Orleans! Florida State was headed to the Sugar Bowl with a chance to bring home their second national title and complete Bobby Bowden's first perfect season. Coming up, we'll meet multi-talented senior swimmer, Griffin Allen. It's about 6.30 and it's time to get up and head to practice. I have about an hour before my next class, so I'm just at the library studying for my anatomy exam tomorrow with Starbucks in hand, of course. So I just got out of my second class and now I'm heading into Leech to do a bit of cross training on the bike and in the pool. And now I'm getting treatment before my next class. Okay, so now I am headed into the track building to do my workout on the Ultra G, which is basically an anti-gravity treadmill that takes reduces some of the pounding which is really good. We use it for mostly injury prevention and things like that. So I just got back from class and now I am making some dinner with my speedy roommate. Woo! What's up Seminole fans? I'm Morgan Dole and I've got you covered with a look at what's to come for Florida State Athletics. The men's basketball team is picking up speed with their sixth game tonight against Chattanooga. Tip-off is set for 6.30. This game will be taking place on our stomping grounds at the Tucker Civic Center. Next up, the volleyball team will make their way to Pittsburgh to take on the Panthers on Friday. Peyton Caffrey, who has literally been killing this season with a little over an average of four kills per set, will be a key component in taking home the win for Florida State. The Knolls will return to Tully Gym on Sunday for their final home game of the season against the Duke Blue Devils. Coach Poole and his squad are looking to make the NCAA tournament for the 11th straight season. 
Now over to women's basketball. After kicking off their season earlier in November, the Seminoles will head over to the Swamp to face our rival, Florida, next Tuesday. Tip-off is at 6 p.m. Now remember, you can always check out Seminoles.com for the latest on Florida State Athletics. I'm Morgan Duell for Knowles All Access. Standing at six feet and four inches from Rockville, Maryland, Griffin Alanis has been adding to the success of the men's swim team since 2016. His finesse of the water, he has very long strokes, he's very, very graceful, and he has a huge, like, endurance and aerobic capacity. But he has another talent that dates back to 2004. The March of the Tour. I'm a classically trained pianist from the age of 6 to 18. For the longest time, me and my brother just hated it. Having to practice for 30 minutes a day or whatever it was. But by the time I got to 13, it dawned on me just the value of being able to, to do something like that. It's just such a nice both de-stressor and it's, it's really a skill that I'd love to be able to have for myself and be able to share with other people. At the piano and inside the pool is where Griffin felt most at home. It wasn't until his sophomore year of high school that the chores he had been completing with his brother took a tragic turn for the worst. We were in our backyard chopping wood with a uh, hydraulic log splitter. I was feeding logs and he brought down the blade. Griffin was rushed to the hospital with a severely injured finger, the amount of blood making it unclear how much damage had been done. After it was initially amputated, they tried to, you know, keep put it back on and keep it alive. So I had it on for, I'd say, like another five months after the initial accident, just trying to save it, rehabilitate it. But by the time we got to that point, it would just be more of a hindrance. But obviously, it's, you need all 10 of your digits to be able to get every part of the keys. I consider myself super lucky that I only lost the one finger. Despite the accident happening in the midst of his high school career, the relief of still being able to do most activities kept Griffin's motivation alive. He persevered through his junior and senior year, inside the pool and classroom, ultimately earning him an athletic scholarship to Florida State. One of the kids on my club team was recruited here. It was one of my last trips. Why not come visit Florida State? Everybody just comes from so many different places but we all kind of have one general like love for the sport and just to like do our best and like be a family and support each other. I would say his technical prowess. He works very, very hard. Like there's things that he wasn't good at that he's fixed. He's done a good job of going, yeah, I don't love that, but I got to fix it and kind of toughen it out. After qualifying for the NCAA championship for his backstroke and missing the FSU record by just a fraction of a second, Griffin was awarded most improved in the 2018 season. Definitely a clutch player. Like he's the ultimate finesse somehow. He just manages to do it. Like he does work hard, but he is uh, definitely a clutch player, yeah. Outside of the pool, you have a lot of bonds that you can that you can grow and you spend a lot of time with each other outside of the pool. So it's been really nice getting close with, with all the guys. And Griffin could never forget the unconditional love he has waiting for him 800 miles away. She loves being in that supporting role, like she's always been a huge supporter of mine. She's not exactly the team mom, but she'll go in and, and custom fit all the stuff for the parents or uh, I guess specialty items for the swimmers. Without his mother, he would have never found his love for the piano. The accident certainly brought its trials and tribulations, but with the support of his family and the swim team, the reasons to continue playing became so simple. I'm Alex Wenling for Knowles All Access. Coming up, we look ahead to the final regular season game against the Florida Gators. The Look Ahead is presented by Florida Farm Bureau Insurance. Register to win the ultimate fan experience at KnowlesContest.com. All right, coach, after the bye, the Nose traveled down to the swamp to take on the Florida Gators. What stands out to you about this team? Uh, Florida is a very good football team, well-coached team. They got talent. They're very talented at running back, receiver, quarterback, and defense, they're good. We got to go out and play our best game. And also, also we got to prepare well this week coming up, this bye week. They're a good, very good football team. 
And I know a lot of people are probably writing off the nose and they're just saying that this is a wash. I know that that isn't your mindset. You're trying to win this game, right? Well, I'll tell you what, you come to Florida State University, I don't care who you play, you don't go out and compete to the highest level. And so that's never, never, ever in the equation at Florida State. We're going to compete to the highest level. Well, thanks, Coach, and we look forward to a great game down in the swamp. For Coach Hagens, I'm Jay Sutton, and we'll see you next week on Knows All Access. Thank you. Knows All Access is brought to you by the energy-saving conservation programs of Tico People's Gas. Real Coca-Cola taste with zero sugar and zero calories. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Taste the feeling.